goal of RI from the onset was really to combine cutting edge research with translation into clinical practice. And uh, over the years, this has evolved from uh, primarily clinical studies into no, now more uh, theoretical studies in addition to clinical studies, a lot of mathematical modeling, uh, a lot of epidemiology, and more recently we have added also a, a lab to our portfolio. The purpose of math modeling is basically trying to represent um, the physiological mechanism that most of our patients experience. Usually, if you know, um, CKD patients tend to manifest itself in a multitude of interlinked uh, disease and pathologies. And the effort of mathematical modeling is trying to come up with all this complexity into a one framework that allows us to then look at our patient individually for precision medicine. The data analytics team, we have a very wide scope of work. We're working and interacting with many of the departments here at RRI. We're working very closely with the clinical research team. We're basically we're supporting the clinical research team with uh, hypothesis generation, manuscript writing, as well as the development of analysis plan and giving them input in our area of expertise. We also were working with the mathematical modeling group. We're helping them with data extractions. We're helping them with the manuscript writing and uh, giving them input in our area of expertise, supplementing their area of expertise. The beauty of math is that you can take different ideas and then break it down into more abstract notions where then the abstractions allows you to do multiple things that you may not be able to do either for financial reason or ethical reason. So having a model will allow me to do experiment. A trial say of an anemia drug usually would take years and it would require hundreds or thousands of patients. Uh, when we run these virtual trials, once we have set up the system, it takes weeks. We're also closely working with uh, the Monitoring Dialysis Outcome Initiative, which is an international database collaboration, bringing really at one table uh, academic institutions as well as dialysis providers from all over the world that are contributing uh, with their data to the overall Mondo database. And um, this database serves then analyses um, to gain insight, uh, knowledge, and, and, and very deep insights into what predicts adverse outcomes in dialysis patients, and also allows us to really find out what could potentially be done to improve the outcomes. So predict analytics can be used to identify high-risk patients, predict um, certain parameter trajectory, and also can be used to predict patient behavior patterns. I think what makes our ride really unique is this extreme diversity of skill sets. I mean, we have in our group, we have mathematicians, we have engineers, we have biochemists, epidemiologists, statisticians, medical doctors. So it's a really diverse group of people. And whenever we look at a problem, then uh, all the members of these various uh, teams come together and look at the problem from different angles. I think one of the main things here is um, that we have a huge team that comes from everywhere with so many different backgrounds and I think for me the most important thing is it's completely patient-centered because we are all of our studies are just trying to impact uh, clinical outcomes. One of the characteristics and as you say, as you say uniqueness of our uh, research here is that we have uh, collaborations and we work with uh, research fellows and research scientists from all over the world. They are all um, represented, actually most of the countries are represented <laughs> in our institute and we have uh, an amazing uh, kind of group of people which makes this, uh, this collaboration unique. Because of this integration of patient care and research, we have a, a very good sense what's necessary to improve patient outcomes. I think it's really this, this close collaboration between clinical medicine, theoretical fields, which may seem a little bit remote, like mathematics, for example, uh, and clinical medicine, this diversity of approach to research question that will help us to stay on the forefront.